my channel. Thank you for watching my second Valentine's Day video. Um, I went back and forth with this look trying to decide what I was going to do. I wanted to do either maybe like a smoky eye, um, which I think I'm just going to save that for another video. And then I was thinking about doing like a bright red lip or a dark red lip. And I decided to do neither of those and kind of go with a more like pink all around look, I guess. Um, a more natural Valentine's Day look. Um, I don't know, I just feel like this is a little bit more like wearable if you guys are going out on like a date or whatever you're doing. I'm probably gonna be in bed with my dog. But, that sounds weird. I don't know, I'll just be eating in bed with my dog most likely. But, <laughs> that's really sad. Uh, so, I don't know, I just felt like if I would be on a date for Valentine's Day, I would be like checking my teeth all the time and feeling like I have like red lipstick on my teeth or on my face if I'm like eating or whatever. So I just went with a more like pink matte lip, kind of like Kylie Jenner inspired if you will. Um, I love, 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 love her matte lips that she has. I want to get one of those Kylie lip kits but they're still sold out everywhere. Um, but yeah, I just, I kept everything kind of more like pink for Valentine's Day, pink on the eyes, um, pink on the lips. So yeah, I feel like it just looks really nice and fresh and still really just kind of pretty for Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Please subscribe to me if you have not already and leave a comment or a thumbs up if you like the video um, or leave a comment if there's any other videos that you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. So to start by prepping my eyes, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just applying that all over my lid. I'm using a MAC 287 brush. You can use your finger if you would like to. And to set that, I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm going over my lid with the color Charmer and just applying that all over with the flat shader brush. Now for the first transition color, I'm going to be using the color Sweetheart from the same palette. I'm using this palette for the eyes today, all the shadows. Um, and just going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion with a big fluffy brush. Now to deepen the crease in the outer corner a little bit, I'm going in with the color Rebel and keeping most of the color on the outer corner and bringing it in slightly. Now to darken down the outer V of the eye, I'm going in with the pencil brush. This one is by Sigma and I'm taking the color Leader and just kind of packing that on the outer corner in a V shape and I'm bringing it in just slightly into the upper crease, not too much. And then I'm just taking my Sigma blending brush. This is the E25 and just blending that out slightly. For the lid today, I'm using MAC All That Glitters. This is one of my favorite shadows ever. Um, I'm using a small shader brush and I did spray my brush with Fix Plus before I went into All That Glitters. And just putting that all over the lid and then going back with the pencil brush with no additional product and just kind of blending the lighter and the darker color together. I'm just going to do a small wing liner today and I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. You can extend your wing out farther if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic. I didn't want it to be too crazy today so I just kept it kind of small. Um, after this I do curl my lashes and I added a coat of mascara before I applied my falsies. Um, these ones are by MAC today and the number isn't on the package but I'll try to find them online and put that in the description for you guys. Um, for my primer today, I'm using a sample that I got from Sephora, Sephora from Sephora. This is the Peter Thomas Roth, um, what is it, Pore Putty, I think it's called. Um, I liked this. I feel like it did its job, served its purpose. Um, I don't know. I'm just like stuck on the Makeup Forever one right now. So if there's another one that you guys really like and think I should try, let me know. Leave me a comment. For my foundation today, I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is in the color Santa Fe. Um, I do have quite a bit of redness on my cheeks. Um, so I picked up some of those Cover FX, the custom cover drops. Um, and it helps add extra coverage to anything that you want it to. Um, so I put a few of those in and then just kind of mixed it up on the back of my hand and then applied it all over my face with the MAC 159 brush. And then I like to blend everything out with my Beauty Blender After. Um, I do want to try those, like the infused w drops or whatever they are. Um, I think they're almost like an essential oil type of thing. 
But if any of you guys have tried those, let me know how you guys like them because I am interested in those. Um, for my concealer and highlight today, I used my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Custard. And as you guys know, I pretty much apply it the same way every time. Underneath my eyes in a triangular shape, down the bridge of my nose, in the center of my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. And then just take your beauty blender and blend all that out. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm applying a little bit of this underneath my eyes just with my Beauty Blender. Um, kind of baking, I guess, but I'm not really baking it. I don't know. Um, I just want to set my under eye because I crease really bad and I just didn't want my under eye sitting there while I'm doing the rest of my contouring. If you guys don't have this problem, go ahead and skip it and then you can bake everything later. For my concealer today, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is the color Beautiful Bronze. I don't think I'll be using these again, to be honest. I know these are like really popular right now and I've seen a lot of people use them and like them. I felt like it was so hard to blend these out and I had started with my beauty blender and I was like, this is getting me nowhere. So then I switched to my brush that I like to use. And I mean, you guys will be able to see, like literally I feel like half of my video is me blending out this contour. Um, I don't know, the color was fine in the end. It was just so hard to blend it out and I spent so much time blending this out and making it look good. I just feel like it's too much work for me and I don't want to mess with it. So I personally still, my favorite is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. Um, if I am going to do a cream contour, I love the color. It blends out so nice and I'd had to do like a quarter of the work that I would have to do if I'm going to be using this contouring method. Um... So yeah, that's just my opinion. Sorry if you love it. I don't. Okay, do you guys see what I mean now? That was a little aggressive to have to blend all that out like that, but it's okay. I'm just, I now I know. And I'm sorry if you guys like that, but I'm just going to be honest and tell you my honest thoughts on everything. Um, to set all of that, I'm going in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer, and this is their Ida brush. I love this brush, by the way. It's awesome if you don't have it. And just going back over everything that I just contoured just to kind of set everything. <laughs> So now that we're all done with contouring, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder again and just applying this with my Beauty Blender. And I'm applying this right underneath my contour just to kind of give it a really nice sharp edge to it. And I'm also going to apply this um, everywhere else that I put my concealer. If you guys have not already set your under eyes, you can go ahead and do that now and let that bake if you want to. Um, and I'm going to finish underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the color Rebel and just applying this with the pencil brush. This is the same color that we used um, our second transition shade. And I'm also going to take the color Leader and just apply that on the outer portion of the lower lash line. So now just to finish my eyes off, I'm going to do my inner highlight and my brow highlight. And I'm going to be using uh, the Balm Mary Luminizer. And I'm also using this to highlight the rest of my face here in a minute. And then just apply a couple coats of mascara and then we're all done with eyes for today. So now that my face has baked, I'm going to fluff off any excess powder that's still sitting on it. I'm just using a small um, tapered highlighter brush from Sigma, the F35. You don't have to use this brush. You can use any brush that you would like. A stippling brush works great for this too. Um, for blush today, I'm using Max Buff. And just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and kind of blending that out a little bit. And now I'm going to apply the Mary Luminizer to the rest of my areas that I want highlighted. Down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, um, on the highest points of my cheeks. And a little bit on my forehead and chin. Just kind of extra that's on the brush. I'm not picking up any extra product. 
For lips today, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is in the color Soft Spoken and just applying this all over my lips. And that is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.